for the hood been too. What's been going on in the news? Everything. More and more of a reason for everybody to look at why you need to live right. More and more of a reason why you need to make sure you get understanding. This thing winding up. I was looking, you seen I think in Japan, they got a, um, I think it was in Japan. Man, they got houses, everything, the real something underwater. He watching these places. I'm talking about it bad. And they expect, listen, they saw that their water was coming down, their water come down the steps like a herd of people. And it's like they got more rain on the way. Mr. Hood talking. He destroying these play. Um, Arkansas, uh, South Carolina, I think they had some tornado come down over there to do some damage. Mr. Hood talking. What else you gonna do? People ain't ready to turn. People still got a mindset to stay in their way, then you're gonna have to pay. It's time for everybody to get right. We're gonna play it around long enough. And laugh long enough, and that time make sure we got this thing right. At the end of the day, what else you gonna do? I would hate to be some idiot or some fool that think it's okay to die and not be right. Uh, if there's ever been a time to be right, it's today. You didn't do it yesterday, so we can't hold that against you, but you'll be a fool to leave here today and not get it right. And not at least be close as you can get to getting it directly on center and perfect aligned, because this man getting ready to close this thing up on everybody. If you ain't right, you ain't going to get in. It's been time out for I'm trying to get right. The trying to get right ain't going to work. When you come tell me you're trying to get right, I'm going to tell you to go ahead and get lost. I don't need to try in that time to do it. That's just being honest. It's just time to get it too late in the evening to keep messing around. You know, Mr. Hood has been real uh, recalm on us that he ain't cut us off. That's just being honest. He been recalm to us. It need to be that way. If you, don't get nothing that, if you don't get nothing that push you, what's going to motivate you to do it? You'll be all this time, you ain't done nothing different. So if you come and tell me you're trying, what you think I'm going to do? I'm going to look at how long you've been trying. If it takes you that long to try, that ain't for you. That's just being honest. It's just not for you. It ain't for everybody. I told y'all before, this ain't for everybody. It's for people out there, for y'all sitting here too. How long you going to sit around? How long you going to keep waiting? Um, well, all y'all who ask, how long you going to hop between two opinions? That's just being honest. What is you, gonna, what is you working on? You working on what? Stop lying? What you working on? Stop whole money? What you working on? Don't make sense. I ain't no need to work on that. You just stop. How you work on stop lying? You lie better? You just tell the truth. I ain't no working on it. Just stop lying and tell the truth. A lot of stuff we don't use for our procrastination is just too long. It's it, it been too long. We procrastinate too long. At time to take some different direction, different turns now. You know, everybody got to sit up and start looking at what you got to do. Do something different. Do something different than what you've been doing. Some of y'all still come in late, still mess around, still keep the same dragon groups. It's like, I don't see no growth. When you gonna, when, when do you want growth? Growth gonna come in when you make changes. That's just being honest, you gotta make changes. It's getting late now. You know, people know where they at for themselves. You can sit around and tell a lie, want somebody to tell you something, make you feel good. You know where you at. You need to feel good about yourself. Ain't nobody, what you think about me? You ask me because what you think about you. How many times I come and ask y'all what y'all think about me? Because I already know what I think about me. This is the end of the story. Why would I come ask you? I already know what I think about myself. I already know how I feel about myself. The person I'm most concerned about is him. They ain't to say there's a deflection. That's the person you need to be most concerned about. How does he view you? Some of y'all can do stuff to look good in my sight, but he see you. And there's only two ways to get by. He let me see you, and he let me see you because he need me to see you. And for those I don't see you, he don't want me to see you. I'm a very observant person. I pick up things very quick. So if I miss something with you, I assure you you didn't get by. It's only because he don't want you to get caught and he don't want me to come. If I catch you, what am I going to do? There you go. So if I don't catch it, if you don't get corrected, that's because he don't know how it So I appreciate y'all that stopped the way. They'll say, now, I'm going to start trying to stay in the way. He still won't let me see you. So you work so hard to stay uh, hidden and stay kept back, and he won't make sure you stay that way. See, it's not a smart way out of this. You know what I'm saying? You know what? I stay out of here way, that way I ain't got to worry about it. I stay out of this site, I ain't got to worry about it, getting on me or saying that to me. And it worked. You won. Give yourself a hand clap. Now when he come back here, when he cut you off, it'll be because of what? You work so hard to make sure you didn't get caught, and he made sure, I made sure it worked for you that way. Yeah, nobody don't want to be cut. Nobody want to be uh, correct. Nobody want to be rebuked. But at the end of the day, you trying to be saved. Yeah. Well, who here hard? That's who he chasing. Right. And he don't take a bend that he don't scourge. Right. He said, I got to. That's who I hard. The one I correct. That's what he did to Yahushua. Isn't that right? He, told, well, he showed us how much he harmed him, didn't he? And he corrected him. 
So you got to just start looking at for yourself. You know, is it a good thing what you're doing? And now a lot of them thinking now, probably not a good idea. What about you ready? How about the fact that you ready to try to change and do something different? What if he not really accept you being different? See, a lot of times what's going on, and you know, things have gone a certain way for a reason. You know, periodically he'll let me loose and let me in my word, let me do my word play. And it's for a reason. It's some people he need to stop listening. Right. He'll be honest, it's some people ain't going to listen. Right. And that's a good thing. Right. In their mind, they say, you know what, I, I refuse to listen to man tell that good. Right. It's intended to do that for you. Somebody was able to bear through it. So they went to transition to change. Everything happened for a reason. Y'all just don't know why. I do. I let it just go the way it's supposed to go. And some of y'all tell y'all not to do something, y'all still do it anyway. So he's doing it, so I'm going to do it. But I told y'all not to do it. So then it show whether or not you can obey. You know what I'm saying? That don't make sense. He can do it, I can do it. I showed the 23rd chapter of the book of Matthew Yahoo. He said all they told you, to, they bid you to do. What did he say? But not. So you got to have self-control. Everything for a reason. There people he don't want to hear it. He's intended. Don't y'all know he's intended on some people he's not going to say? It don't matter how much praying you do. It don't matter what you, you know, listen, nobody ain't prayed no harder than Asu. They called Esau. The book said he saw it with tears. I ain't seen y'all niggas cry. Not that something really hurt you somewhere else ain't got nothing to do with your salvation. And the book said he can't find it. So your crying don't move him. Your crying, your hollering, your shivering, your shaking, your begging, it don't move him. It's just, man, it don't move him. He looking for some action. That's about what you're willing to do. Some of y'all hold the stuff so long. Y'all got the way you do stuff. You kind of cover for stuff for so long. Then it come back and hurt you later. That's just being honest. I tell y'all before, and I saw all the time, you got to do inventory, everything you got, and what you're willing to do. What you can walk away from. What you can give up. What you can let go. And a lot of times, y'all hadn't done it, because you think about something, ain't worth nothing. I got a car that blowed up one time. I believe I, I, believe I could walk away from that. The car blowed up. What is she going to do, nigga? You going to blow up with it? That don't make common sense. So, you know, <sighs> Y'all will see. You all will see. Keep your eyes open and just keep watching because it's a test. Y'all hear me? It's a test. And then the test will end and an actual emergency will kick in. You will know an actual emergency because you've been warned, you've been told. But I know you guys, like I said, you've been doing what you've been doing a long time. You done got your lifestyle in it. You got your way you do stuff. You know, I put some things out there. Shabbat, I watch some of y'all. It ain't, it ain't none of my members I don't know. Like I just didn't let you keep going because in your mind, you, you got it down. You got it in your mind, and that's not the actual truth. You know I'm going to get rid of a lot of y'all uh, last Shabbat. I'm going to stand at that door and touch out. It still might come and touch you, and I touch you and tell you to take off. Don't talk to me no more. Just don't even worry about it. And it ain't going to be personal. It's only going to be business at the end of the day. It'll only be business because the man looking at that thing winding up, we got to get right. We ain't got to get some light right. We got to get all the way right. And it need to be, everybody members, include mine, need to be on the, it need to be on the table every day. Mine need to be on it every day. What, what y'all think I do if, if it's a chance I can't be gotten rid of? Everybody can get rid of. Everybody can go, include me. That's my motivation to do what I do. I can be replaced. I can be, I can be taken out. I can die. I can get sick. I can get a coma. I can have a stroke, I can have a heart attack, and he want me to always remember that. He don't ever want me to think that except you, especially you. And the people need to know the same thing. Every one of us can be replaced. None of us are doing nothing that ain't been done before. Whether you live it right or live it wrong, somebody done done it before, and they're going to do it again. If you live it wrong, somebody done done it before, they're going to do it again to Mr. Yahuwah stop the clock on everybody. You need that motivation. You need to consider you don't ever know what situation he's going to put you in. Some of y'all, he put you out in a situation for a reason. Because you got to come out of who you are. Who we are sometimes is our biggest, our biggest disappointment, our biggest hurt. You got to be willing to change. Got to be willing to separate and move from anything. Sometimes people might look at look like I go through more than anybody else. Look like other people don't go through. And it's exactly right. Some people, he don't let them go through. Why? They got to pay later. You pay now, they pay later. Hello? You pay now, they pay later. Don't you know he said that mosh pot must begin with the Beth Elohim? That's why it come back on us so quick. It gotta, he said it got to begin with us. Don't nobody ever do nothing here to get away with it. It always come back up. 
Haven't we seen that? Yes, it always come back up. Because you know why? He said it's got to start him. Yes, he said, now, if it first begins with us, what's going to be the end for the other day? He said, that's obeying them out. He do that for people that's obeying. What you think he'll do for people that disobeying? Uh, just time to just time to sit back, time to do inventory, time to sit down and consider. Just realize where you at. Even if you're in a good spot, you can come up higher. All of us. All of us can come up higher. Don't ever get where you good where you at. No, you're not good where you at. That's our goal to get it where he wants us to be. And to get it where he wants us to be is to get outside our comfort level a lot of time. Isn't that right? Keep it on the edge. Everybody need to be on it. I remember how scared I was when I was on the edge. That fear of dying, that fear of being taken away, the fear of all the stuff that would happen to me, that fear was there. It didn't get me to a total completion, but it pushed me to a point of it stayed on my mind and wearied on me. And that's what needed to happen to you. It got to weary you so much to break you down and you ain't got no choice but to do it. And a lot of y'all not to that point, chap. It ain't you. That's just where you at. That's how you, you just where you at. Some people, you don't ever fully commit. You know that? That some people don't fully commit. And that'll get you. I remember Chris was talking about one time, just you him for football. Um, you remember when you wanted to go and you wanted to play pro football? Why you didn't want to play pro football? He said he had a dedication. He didn't do it. But you played football. College? Yeah. Played for Auburn, Texas Southern, anyway. But he had it in mind, he wasn't going to go. And using that for example, he already knew in himself, that's not something I'm trying to do. That's what somebody else want to do. That's not what I want. You really sick of it. Like, I want to be done with it. You're like, it really was holding you up. Some of y'all are that same when it comes to the word. You hear you got the equipment, you're on the team, but you really ain't dedicated to go all the way. See, there's some people on that team, you know, that's all they, all they could taste the whole time they were playing was professional football. There's some kid the whole time, that's all they knew. High school, middle school, Pee Wee, where the pop one, that. All they wanted, I want to be a professional player. And they made college, that's all they looking at. That's it. What's, 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 I, I really ain't worried about that because I'm trying to play professional football. you like, but what if, what if you don't make it? They'd be like, I don't even, they quit talking. I know some people, they'll quit talking you say some stuff like that. What if you don't make it? That conversation nowhere. Because you know what I'm saying? You a hater. You just get them out. What if you don't make it? What if you don't get dropped? They don't want to talk to you. Because they mindset, I already know what I want to do. And they put that, they feel like I put that kind of time, I put that kind of dedication in it, and I'm not going to let nobody deter me from it. Because they believe that if you do it, you have to see yourself doing it. They'll tell you, anybody that do it, they'll tell you, you have to see yourself doing it. A lot of times why people don't do it, they don't see themselves doing it. It's just plan. Maybe something will happen, they'll tell you for one to make it, you're not going to make it like that. You got to eat and sleep it. You got to believe you're going to do it. People that do it, they'll tell you. All of them will tell you. They're going to say, oh, it's just chanced up some kind of way. Somebody can't get They can see themselves doing it. The average I'm doing it tell you, I can see myself doing it. I knew I was going to play. I knew I was going to make it. They work. They put the time in. <laughs> you don't have the answer there. You, you see yourself making it shine, making it with you. You got to see it. You got to see it. That's what you got to eat and sleep. That's what you got to work toward. You know what you're doing? You kind of like Chris was in a sense when he was doing football. He, how much you think he put in it? <laughs> he didn't want to play. He's like, I don't want to play. He's like, well, he said, well, he said, I was burnt out. I've been playing from baseball. I'm running from one sport. He said, I was tired. My friends were playing. I was sick of practice. I was sick of my time getting taken up. I just didn't want to do it. And you know what? What he was doing, what a natural sport is, what a lot of y'all doing when it comes to your hood. You got other things you want to do, and it's hindering you. It's preventing you from doing what you need to do. You got to see yourself doing this. Listen, you, won't, you can't throw no dice against the wall, and you get a lucky number. You can't flip no card. You can't buy no lottery ticket. You got to see yourself doing this. You got to make it your agenda. Y'all got me? It's got to be first and foremost on that. that. And nothing that's more important than that. No matter what you get, no matter where you go, no matter what you go through, ain't nothing more important than what you do. Some here might have been the practice, probably just sick of the practice. Like I said, sick of the summer. Your summer cut short. You get what, two weeks? It's time for football practice. That's it. They know that. Anybody play football in there? Sure. Your summer, basketball, y'all has camps, camps for summer for basketball? So what you get your whole summer, then when school start back, you start back playing basketball? It, 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 it's, it, it's really a nuisance. You're like, goodness. I, I, everybody playing. All my friends playing. Then you ran track. You get your summer, then you go run track. I get that. That's the whole time they're going to tell you. You be like, hold on, summer. But you remember be out for the summer? Football. No, listen, you be right. You get two weeks. Get away. And hey, them two weeks. What time is it? 
Got to get a football practice. Come for because you know the coach said, I'm looking at winning. Winning, we got to get here. And you know what some of them do? They'll break the rule. And we'll pull the start until the second week. They'll be like, man, we're coming right to school. They'll look at it. They'll break any rule they want to. They'll start early. Because they look at in order to win, they know you got to do that. I can't be waiting no day of. Talking about we can't start the August. Man, y'all, y'all be in here in June. June the 8th, you be in here. You keep your mouth shut. <laughs> and that right, the school going to bag. It's where you got to run the program. They're like, you got to do what you got to do. They're like, we're trying to win. I can't wait to everybody else start. You got to get it before them. I say that to say if you're going to be saved, you're going to have to be motivated. You got to see yourself doing it. And you got to be willing to put in the work. You can't wait to other people do it. Tell about being late. How many of y'all remember seeing me come in late? I can't imagine well, how y'all be comfortable with it. See, that's the difference, too. You got to put in your mind. Why? See, the be- people say, well, preacher, you know, they they'll might say um, stuff they'll see me do. They'll say, you know, well, preacher, do whatever, because I'll, I'll make sure I put the effort in to make sure I beat the next man out. I got to beat the next man off the dribble. I got to beat the next man on the line. I can't beat the man on the line if I'm late. I can't beat the man off the dribble if I'm late. So you got to be able to do something that somebody else ain't doing. So there's some more preachers, they waiting on, they, you know, when they get a when they get convenient, they'll be there on the else because the thing waiting on them. See, I can't do that. Y'all got it? See, when I come up, I don't have no manuscript. I don't have nothing wrote up and made up. So when I get up, as I get through, I got to be able to go to work from now. So I got to be able to get, and I got to be able to move from now. So he look at you, do a lot of fooling around for me. I don't see how they're going to work out. You're too comfortable in what you're doing. Nothing motivates you to make you try to look at. You had to do with the, the Navi before that, he said, got a B time. That's early. They got up early. That was the motivation. That's what separated them from. They caught on the bike, stayed in bed out there. What you think they're looking at? That's not pattern. That's not pattern. So it's just things you start looking at, you have to start changing what you got to do. Now, you can say you want to see yourself in the mail, cool, but you got to get people also that mind it. People that feel like they're going to make it, going to get what people are going to make it. Hello? I said, being honest. People get ready to take the SAT, going to hang out with people taking the SAT. They don't have SAT conversation. Isn't that right? What they're doing, somebody ain't taking it. Okay, got to get with people that are taking it. You're a negative, you're going to pull me down. You're going to be, ah, man, wasting my time with that junk. You get away from people like that. And now that's a negative. You already got a lot of loads you already got to do. You try to get with people that minded to do it. And then you wonder why ain't nothing changed for you. Because you with people ain't minded to do it. Hello? Okay. When Nakum y'all told us that the wall was finished and they had built it, he told you why. Who had a mind to work? Who had who was no had the mind first? Nakum y'all had the mind first. He didn't want it, it later, it grieved him that the wall was down. He wanted to go back and build it. He wanted to put it back. He found some old people had that same mind. You know what? I was thinking the same thing, that wall need to be back up. And them people got together, they put, he said, so built we the wall, yes, sir. in spite of opposition. That's right. They had people that came, in, you know what, they worked in field, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, I'm blown because I got fear. He worked through fear. The people made them fear. But he said they had a mind to work. That's the difference with y'all. Whether or not you mind enough to do it. Or whether you got other stuff going, other stuff more pressing, more important. If you got everything else you got accomplished in your life, and everything that you desire to do in your life, and you don't make it in, what's your satisfaction? What's your, what's your level of achievement? Just say whatever it is that you got in your mind that you want to do in life, you like to accomplish, you like to get done. Let's say you got that. All that work for you and you got it. It all clicked for you and it fell through. Right now, it just start working. Think about it. I want you to really think about that. If what you working on work, and that puts you where you need to be, and that allow you to be able and you'll be good. If you move and you wind up in Shio, what's your accomplishment? What do you have in your achievement? Absolutely nothing. My biggest goal achievement is making his mouth cool. Don't worry about it, Rudy. It's all about where you're at. So what y'all have to realize, y'all have to start looking at putting things in perspective. Willing to make change. You got, to be, you got to be willing to transition. A lot of y'all just not transition people. You'll transition back into your old ways. You'll transition back to failure, but you want to transition to completion. And that's what the man looking for.
Y'all got it? Now, I got some work I got to do. Uh, we'll, we'll talk. Uh, um, um, text of a family we got over in Ghana that watch us, and I want to make sure they kind of understood some of the language that we use and some of the words that we use. Because there are some people, uh, and Mr. Yahoo had to put on your lob to do it. Because where I'm at now with a lot of people, they won't, people actually won't even make it in. I just won't have that kind of time to go back over a lot of stuff in elementary and principal things. I just really won't have that time. Because the book even declared that we had to move on to perfection. They said not land again. The foundation, but whatever reason, Mr. Hood see fit. We want to make sure we got it. We want to make sure we're understanding of, of things that we're doing. Because uh, a lot of times, I don't, I don't think we're really conscious of what this man does for us. Until, you know, when you really recognize how tube and how great he is, when some taken away from you. I remember when I was in the hospital uh, back here in Freedom. I was sitting here and I was like, you know, I was sitting watching all these people sitting in the hospital room. One lady, she was. Throwing up in their bag, and I watch in a wheelchair. Another one watching these people here. I'm sitting here like goodness. You just sitting there play for these hours. You just sitting. You like goodness. That man just put you somewhere and just let you just watch all the stuff around you. Look here, and then he let you leave. I seen some people. One lady I seen, she was stretched out. I stopped. And I told her, I said, I, I said, I hope you feel better. And, um, she said, I, she said, I really appreciate it. I said, I hope you feel better. She said, hate to see him in that condition when you sitting here and nobody can help. I was in a room. She was in the hallway. And she was definitely worse than me. But whatever he saw fit, he put me in a room and let her sit in the hallway. I watched people in the hallway just lay there. And I was in a room. I'd get up and I'd go to bed. I'd look at it. I'd watch these people lay. You saw that? People lay in the hallway. These people, they were bad. One person made that determination. They say, you know what? Give him a room to see about him. Let them sit outside their wall let them suffer. And he could have turned the same man that said that could have said it to me. Let him sit outside that wall and suffer and let them people sit in the room who could really use the room. You know what I'm saying? Who don't even need it, but the people who you need it and let you sit out here and suffer. That's a lot of stuff we take for granted. And sometimes he had to stop you in your daily walk, stop you in different things you got so you can recognize how much you take for granted. The ability to just get up and go when you want and move around and go versus you somewhere and somebody else got to handle you and take care of you and change you and, and nurse you and feed you, all the stuff we take for granted. And then well, even with them, how many times, no doubt, he warned them? It's easy to have pity for people when you see people down, but when you was up, what were you doing? Mm, that's right. I know one thing, Lord, let me get up again. <laughs> let me say, you won't recover. You won't be recovering from this. You've done enough. This will be your last stop. So it's a lot of stuff. And then some people he do it in a car wreck. Some people he do it with a gunshot. Somebody talking about a bullet came out of nowhere. No, it didn't. That bullet came from right where he wanted it, and it hit the intended target. Whether it was a baby, whether it was a mother, whether it was a father, whether it was a school teacher, whether it was a bus driver, whether it was a teenager, whether it was a football player, everything he do is intended. It's intended. He intended to get somebody to consider. See, what we'll think is kind of, wow, that's strange it happened, is somebody trying to get their attention. Have you thought about the stuff you've seen in Rex? How many of y'all seen Rex right by you or something? Whatever. Sometimes he's trying to get your attention. Sometimes he might let you have one. And just sometimes you don't consider. If some people had a Rex, that was the last Rex they ever had in their life because they died right there on the scene. But he let you walk. What is he trying to get you to do? Get an insurance check? Trying to get you to consider. He lets you know, this happens every day. And a lot of people don't walk away from it. Some people, a car wreck they got into, they have never able to walk again. That's a lot of stuff we take for granted. But it's time for the way of y'all, Senegal of Yahushua Inc. to start considering. Time to do something different. Y'all got it? So now if I tap you now, what I would say now, if you don't, if you get a tap now, it ain't personal, don't show up. He do have to come down there and be at the farm, cutting out, walk around, look at something. I look at someone that tractor to I look on now. I said, hey, well, I said, what this here? He said, that tight. I said, I said, look at that right there. Hey, well, he said, that tight, that tight. Hey, well, go he said, look. He said, if you don't get a text next week, don't show up. He said, because the man talked to me, he said, now, now ain't pre- don't show up now. He said, if you don't get a text, don't show up now. I said, I'll just go ahead and look at something, see something tore up, long, look at the lawnmower, look at it. I said, hey, what's going on? He said, that tight. 
Get that tight. They always let them know. He didn't let some of them know we get finished. We working on that house. He said, all right. Mm-hmm. He said, now, we get through with that house now. He said, after that, preacher won't be needing all y'all now. Now, some of y'all, he be telling them, man, that phone house, it took so long to get that thing finished. He said, now, sooner we get through with this phone house now. He said, now, some of y'all, we ain't going to be needing no more. He said, soon we get through this phone house. Folks, they're on one little nail. Like, he was working on that nail two weeks ago. He was already put it out. He said, now, soon we get through this phone, this phone house now. Now, we have to let some of y'all go now. Can't use all of you. And, you know, in human saying that, but it's the truth. You don't want to be somebody just being used for something. And then after that, it'd be different like Yahushua. Yahushua was used for a purpose, too. But it still also worked out for him. You hate to be the person being you, and it don't work out for you, and it work out for somebody else. Hmm? You think about that. What's the difference? Why wasn't it you weren't made a shirt instead of a human being? Does a shirt have feelings? Does a shirt have, does a shirt cry? Does a shirt hurt? Does a shirt get sick? Anything past you, and then he going to burn them up later. He let people use them to wear them. You ain't going to be able to use them to the coot, though. Might be cute, might be nice, might fit you real nice, but he can't use it. He's going to burn it up later, but it's used for a purpose. How about you could be a shirt? You could be a shoe. You could be a sock or a button. You could be a zipper. And as soon as this thing over, he just burn you up. That's what we can't afford to do. That's why I'm having a conversation with y'all. I can't afford it. How many of y'all can afford it? I can't afford it. I got to be used for something where I can be, I need to go in the mail cool. Isn't that right? I don't want to be used and have that thing over, man. I said, well, that be it right there, zipper. Like, huh? I just use you to close that thing up. I don't need you no more. I don't need no zippers in the mail cool. You don't need no buttons. All that stuff we got, you don't need it. Why, why you want a pair of shoes? Think about the stuff he decided. How you, why you want a leaf? Why you want a grasshopper? Huh? Why you want a beetle or something, or a mosquito, a blood sucker? Well, he really saw fit. He made, you a, he made you a mankind and gave you an opportunity to be able to get your soul right and be with him. He made everything for a purpose. I appreciate he gave me a mind to think on him. All I want to do is just get it right. I don't mind having some things. Things are nice, but I assure you, they ain't my salvation. I don't wrap my salvation around no stuff. Just not that important. Most important, what you going to do with that stuff? There's a lot of people got that stuff, and they just as sick as all I do. And they'll give up every dime they got just to be able to do one a couple little menial things we do. And he know what he look at. You can keep that money. You can keep that gold. You can keep them riches. You won't be moving from now. I stuck you somewhere for a particular purpose and for a reason. And somebody who's sitting around desiring all them things will see you and know you and realize what good is all that stuff you can't do nothing with it. What is good to have all that stuff and later on you're going to burn. You're going to, after that, that's going to be it for you. I want us to consider that. Because we take a lot of stuff for granted. We do a lot of complaining. We do a lot of fault playing with Mr. Hood. We got a lot of things we desire to get, but he know what's best for us. I just guess sometimes we got to wonder, do we know what's best for ourselves? All right, we'll get ready to talk with y'all a little bit here. Out here a little bit. Yes, a little remedial, remedial as they call it, but um, won't be because I ain't got nothing to say. I just want to make sure uh, I guess people following. Dog, I had a question. I told him that I would answer that. They asked me to explain something. Get my phone for me. See if I remember what it was. It was something. I want to make sure they got it. 
There's some people following got a mind to do it. Some people following ain't got no mind to do it. People just holding on for whatever reason it is. At the end of the day, let's make sure we get it right. Yeah, I got a good opportunity. He ain't gave up more than a fair. I'd be lying if I say he gave me a fair chance. He ain't gave me way over a fair chance. He gave me way over a fair chance. I can't say, you know how people say, you know, but they ain't gave you a fair chance. We just agree to stuff. Man, it's been way over fair. Way over fair. Let me see if I remember. You take it right back out of here. I, just, I remember I told him something that I was going to. Oh, nigga, no. Somebody call me. I know they call me about doing some work for them. I don't have that time to fool around. I tell people they want me to do some work for them. You ain't got long. You got to do it real quick, make up your mind, because I do something else. I don't even want to be bothered. I, tell, I don't even want to be bothered. I don't like people like that to tap all my time with them. Let's see something. No. I'm trying to do another video on this one. Well, okay. Where did I add? I'm going to go reach out. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Let's explain. Okay, I understand the foundation, but okay. Please go ahead and explain further, okay? So, what am I going to put in there? Well, guys, and I'm here. Questions? I told my I told him I was here if I had questions. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. I asked him whether they're able to understand the Arborine. Well, oh, I, okay, the other side. Okay, I, mean, I told him the other side. Okay, that's what I can't remember what it was I said. I was explaining them about Arborine and how it means the other side. A lot of time I know that people used to people referring to us as Jews and that's not the correct connotation or uh, I guess uh, the I guess the fitting title for us, but Arbery, and it's important for people to know why you're what you are. Um, Yahushua told us the importance of being a Yahudin, didn't he? Let's tie it. Hand for the answer. What's the answer? That's right. He said, we know who we were. That's right. It's important for you to know that. People tell me, you who did, why? I seen somebody today, I was going to go in and I seen a sign. They had a sign that one, they were saying, Yahushua. But then they had the Lion of Judah. I was looking at the tag, I said, I said, I, want, I said, it was interesting, I saw that. But he had the Lion of Judah. I said, this is about one of the most backwardest statements I've ever seen in my life. It didn't make sense to understand that he was Yahushua, but then you're still referring to Judah. You know, now people knowing that Ari is not, is the actual name for lion versus lion, that's, that's not, you know, I don't find that condemnable on that. But there should be some things you should know if you use a name, you should know we don't have a Judah, it's Yehuda. But, you know, it just takes time for people to kind of, I'm sure he was proud of his tag. He stuck it in front of his window. But at the same time, it's where we've been and time for us to know why we are what we are and why we say who we are. And, of course, you know, other people have gone and they change um, demographics and change language and change ideas and change meanings. And that's why we're such a mixed up people today. We mixed up emotionally. It's hard to, you know, to kind of get your emotions on kind of set for one thing because we've been given so many different things. There have been a lot of different additives given to us. At some point, it'll kind of get you off balance. There have been so many things we've had to learn and we had to try to comprehend to a lot of time it's just been hard to try to comprehend true. We've embraced so many lies. We've been told so many falsehoods, so many um, um, things to believe that weren't actually literal. Y'all know that? You know, the goal that we should have been working on was being perfect, right? How? How are we supposed to be perfect? Not defending by what is it? Listen. You said bib? Bad. By now, Second Timothy three and sixteen. We're supposed to be oh by the word. 
What y'all been told when he told you to be perfect? How many of y'all, what is the answer? Me and her. Be you therefore perfect. I can't hear my Akeem. Even as your Abba and Shamaim is, what you say in Shamaim? Is Talmim. Okay. This is Romans 15 and 4. Listen. So you got the, the Latin, Dewey Rim, and you got King James Perversion. Listen. For whatever Nikata before. Tell them what was written for. Nikata for our Lamed. So we're supposed to be perfect, just like our Father in heaven is. Well, his Shama, our Abba and Shamaim is. Tamim. That's right. So listen, whatsoever was written for time. Nikata for our Lamed. What was it written for? Our Lamed. To do what? That we through in Hold on. For what? Teach us, instruct us, and show us. Listen. That we through endurance. Going through without quitting. Nakum. Well, I'm sorry. Endurance. Going through without giving way. Uh huh. And Nakum. And Nakum. To console us. That's right. That's right. That's right. To give us a consolation, a consoler. Is that right? And it's a reward. Isn't that right? Listen. Of the Kitubim. Of the writings. Might have tikva and for expected your call. weight. Isn't that right? That's based off of what's written. Gives an expected weight. Let's look at 539 um, Bashna. Matiyahu. Make it 45. Hold it for me. <clears throat> Listen. That he may be the benim of your Abba, which is in Shamayim. Who does what? For he maketh his shamash to kum on the Rosha and, and on the two. See that? So when, it's, so when the sun's shining, people that come in Qatar don't see it. And y'all want to, it's a silent button on y'all phone. A lot of y'all use these phones. Please put y'all phones on silent. Listen. And sendeth rain on the Sadak and on the Roshan. See that? So they get the same thing you get, don't they? Yes, sir. So what happened in rain? People that's uh, Kudash separated don't get wet? Yes, sir. They get wet too. Listen. For if ye ahab them, which ahab you. What do you want to know? What reward have ye? What happened? Do not even the publicans the same? See that? He said the same. Listen what he told you. Now he talked about you ahabbing people that just ahab you. He said, if people that Russia, they do the same thing. If people that do wrong, they love other wrong people. What's wrong with their heart? It's still a heart. He said, so a lot of time what you do, you ought to do it to people that give it back to you. Listen. And if you salute your Akeem only. What happened? What do you more than others? Uh-oh. You know what? I don't even waste my time speaking to those sinners. Don't even make sense. I just try to make sure I speak to the Mishra call. Listen. Do not even the public and so? Uh oh. He said, do the same thing. What happened? Be ye therefore, Tamim. Be ye therefore perfect? Even as your Abba, which is in Shamayim, is Tamim. Wow. This that they tell you about, be ye therefore perfect, is not written everywhere. It actually tell you to be merciful. There's a discrepancy on these people's writings. They got a discrepancy on what they're telling you. A lot of stuff they give us is discrepancies on it. Mm. Which would make sense on a lot of ends if you kind of look at it. He tell you about forgiving people and how to do stuff and how he did it. So it makes sense for you to do the same thing. Of course, we're looking to be complete at the end. But trying to put ourselves on that level, that's tight. Let's go back to, um, let's look at something right quick. At the, um, see if that the book of uh, Barashit. Barashit. I think that's the 10th chapter. Barashit. Which could mean what? In the start, in the beginning. They'll call it Genesis. There's 10. Twenty rows. 
10. Let me see. Let me see if it's 20. So we got the Greek, the Latin, chain perversion. Let's say, listen. These are the Bene of Come. That they told us it's ham. That's why they told it was ham. They're saying it's come. But then again now, there has to be argumented too. What they're doing, because they're doing the calm, because they're doing the cough, correct, Bostick? Yes, and they actually believe that the cough is actually HH and not CH, <clears throat> which will probably make sense why they use this ham. When you'll find the CH enunciation, they actually believe that it is an HH enunciation. That is, <laughs> you can't do that with a CH, because a CH is a, <laughs> but the, because <laughs> they tell you it's like you're hawking. You're not hawking when you're saying kh, kh, but when you're saying kh, kh, got it? So you actually believe it's an H, H. So which makes sense because you'll look at this and you'll see that you'll notice they use the CH because it's argumentative. These people argue that it's actually a CA sound versus then when Jane them came, they used the H sound. Hum. And they say hum, they use double H. Hum, hum. You see what I'm saying? Hum, hum. What you think, Boston? A lot of people don't know that, though. <clears throat> That's how they get us. So where the argument will come for the groups, all of us will start fighting. Our argument is going to be over how incorrect the ham is, and the calm is more correct. Because they use it to keep us confused. We're going to take time to pay attention when they do certain things. Like they'll give you zafina. It's a, it's a T-S sound, which is the S. It's the sa, soften y'all. Most of the time you watch them use a Z, you can already pretty much, some, not every time, they know they try to use the sod. But some argue that it's actually like a Z sound. So it's stuff that we had to learn about our enemies to try to make sure we get to perfection. But a lot of this don't come in first, we gotta make sure we're honest on why we're doing it. I don't wanna know this, I can argue and fight with people. Waste of my time. At that point, you believe what you wanna believe. That's where you at. If you're trying to make sure you get truth, then just following you what? Things come in time. People got their own time. I need to know now. Well, it ain't for you to know now. No more than for the, for the Charlotte King to know the day and the hour when he was coming back. He let know some stuff not for you to know now. Ain't that right? It's certain things giving you knowing certain things. It's just outside your knowledge. It's like he gave when he got descriptive about the about the best when they went in and when they did the, when they would do the Zabak act. And certain things he told you he couldn't explain it to you at this time because it wasn't for you to know. Some stuff want your information. Why? What you need to know for? You ain't going in there. That's one reason why you don't need to know. You ain't ever getting in. Only person could go in the Rosh Kohan. So if I told you, what would it going to benefit you? Ain't like you can peek it in and look at it. So certain things like that, it's just one for you to know. Okay? All right, come on. So he telling us that these were the ben, the benim of hum. And they want to say hum, hum. I'm, pick it, choose your poison. Let's get the right living. We'll get corrective on everything. I just want to mention that. Go ahead. After their mishpaka. After their mishpaka. After their song, tongues. Which are their families. After their tongues, which would be their language. Go in ahead. their countries and in their going. So that's how he put the people in there. By the, by the people that speak the language. And he put the, and those people that spoke the language, you can believe it, they was in the same areas. Okay, and then he looked at it in their nations. So those people stayed together. Now, what's interesting when you look at that after they tongue, which definitely got to be their language. So all of them spoke the same thing, right? Right. So when, when he told us in 1 Corinthians 1 and 10 that he beseech us that we all speak the same, same thing. Same thing. What were we going to be at? Among different people. <clears throat> One thing that would ensure that if you're around other people that speak, like speaking English, if you're around other people speaking English, then we should be speaking English. We'd be saying the same thing. That's true. Which means typically we would all be Native Americans or people that converted to becoming Americans, just using that for illustration. So as we look at it, and guess what we'd probably be at? 
in America. Yeah. Hello? That's right. That same thing happened on the day of Ukal Shabuah. They was all in one place. That's right. And with one accord. And you know what happened when the people came down? Those people were Yahudim too. That's right. And they all began to speak and they began to hear the same thing. And the place they were in, they, have, they, they all heard the same thing. Y'all saw that? When they came here, they all heard the same thing. And the book told you in the 42nd chapter, 42, 40, that they actually, they continued together. Let's see what the reason break out. We can understand each other. We all saying the same thing. We all believe the same thing. And that way, and they continue steadfastly. <clears throat> and in fellowship. And in breaking the lacombe. It only made sense. We're saying the same thing. Why would we not be together? Why would we be separate? Why would we be distant? That should be the unifying thing that bring, that should be the thing that unifies us that in what we're saying, our speech. Okay, that's the same thing that came along with Cuff. He had to sit, in order for him to, to, uh, to get himself um, um, not recognized with Yahushua, he had to speak something different. You know what I say? He started cursing. That's not what they were saying. Cursing is swearing. He started swearing to the fact that he was not with him. He, first, he started using blank, 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 which ain't nothing wrong with the word. I just need people focus. I just need them to focus, focus, focus. Okay? That's what he had to do to be different because Yahushua would have never swore. Mm -hmm. We told you, you don't swear by nothing. By Shamayim, that's, his, that's what he said. Or by the Ori. He said, that's a footstool. That's what he's doing. They told him what happened. I know you were winning because your speech betrayed you. Y'all saying the same thing. Y'all talk just alike. And see, that's what we got to start looking at, what getting into something that unifies. A lot of y'all kind of got your little thing going. I'll give you space. I'll let you have your little thing for a little while. Your thing coming to an end, though. Everybody thing coming to an end. Because in order for us to get this, we got to be at the same level of understanding and the same performance that they had. Y'all got it? And a lot of times we're not there yet because y'all still got the little stuff you do, little kind of sneaky stuff, little get over stuff, little hidden stuff you do, and it's going to hurt you more than going to hurt anybody. And the sad part, you don't even be here. It'd be different if you could do it and nobody saw you. Come on. Auntie, Listen. Unto Shem, also the Abba of all the Benim of Abar, mm -hmm. the Ak of your fat. The elder, even unto him, were Benin born. He was the father of Habar. They put it Eber. They go ahead and put Habar here. They put Eber. Come on. The Benim of Sham, Alam, and Ashur, and Afroxad, and Lud, and Aram, and the Benim of Aram. Man, you forgot one. They put Canaan. See, they didn't name him. The Greeks named one more. They named Canaan. Canaan. He didn't name him here. So this came out from the lineage of, from Shem. Right? Yes, sir. Y'all see that? Yes, sir. Okay. Listen. And the Benim of Aram, Uz, Hul, Gathur, and Mosh, and Arphaxad begot Salah, and Salah begot Abar. Mm -hmm. And unto Abar were born to Bani. The Shem of one was Peleg, Peleg, for in his Yamin was the Arats divided, and his ox, Shem, was so, Yachtan. They're calling Habar. That's the first time I see them use a Habar. They put Eber, and you do when you go into the, the, uh, the Martin, here for the Olive, they'll tell you that it makes an E sign. That's why they say it's Eber. So they said the Olive. I'm correct. Oh, that's the Un. Um. They use the Un um when they do a bar. When you're doing, oh, okay, that's right. When you're doing Abba, what we call Abba Re, they actually use the Un, um, the sulfur. But they try to tell us that it makes an E sound. But here, this is a, that's a big dispute. Because them look at him, they're doing Hebrew. They're doing Hebrew. He doing Hebrew. We do a bar. Okay? And he told you in those days, the name of one, the name of one was, well, let's say for, for leg, for here, and it said because in those y'all mean the Arats was divided. divided. So what would his name be? Mean. That's what it makes sense why he named his son when he named him. Because he looked at in those y'all mean the Arats was divided. That was a separation. 
So that's why we kind of hold to the first of, of bar when we look at him simply because in his days he had a son, his son named Falag, and for his son, he named him because in those days the Arats was divided. That's how we found out they wound up speaking something different when they built the Tower of Babel. They'll say, you know, at one time, you know, man came together and man built the Tower of Babel. And man, man didn't come together and build a tower. Some people did it. Some people of men. But we didn't do it. We are bar. We was on the other side. So we do that because it makes sense. So you understand this. The fact that we were named something that would mean the other side. So when he used a, a terminology for us about us being badal, which would be what? To separate. That's not hard for us to understand. When he told us in the second Corinthians, the sixth chapter, the 17th verse, wherefore, come out from among them and the first time it would have made sense would have been them. Because in those days, he told you what happened. In those days, the rocks was divided. So it made sense that during the chaos of what they were doing, he named his son Divide. We know from the son, we need to separate from these people. Why is it with all this stuff going on, we got this, this nature to drive us to want to be with them? For them, don't, we don't see the rocks divided today. How are we so together with everybody else? And we separated with one another. We distant with one another. Y'all can agree we distant with one another. Some of y'all, a few of y'all, about at least five of y'all, do some of the dumbest stuff on the planet. I don't even know how you still breathe them. Tell about five of y'all, y'all do some of the dumbest stuff on the planet, at least. I don't even know how you can still breathe them. How it doesn't, how it doesn't bother you to look at you, you're so different than what you're being taught. You're hearing something. That should make you kind of look at a line of yourself, but you just like you get further and worse. Just get further and further off. That's dangerous. Because in those days when it was, they understood they need to separate from those people. The people that had a different mind of what was established and what he was giving them, we don't need to be with those people. Because you saw when you put everybody there together, those people all speak one language. Those people were one nation. And old people in their country. But when people started doing things, they look at the break off is you. We're not changed. We're going to look at we're separating from you. We're no longer going to be with you. Y'all got it. So it's important that we don't just tell people, you know, we're the Arboreum and what we say, but we kind of more or less understand that how we operate, we're supposed to be different. <clears throat> y'all got it. Now, some of y'all are screwball different. Screwball. I'm talking just straight screwballs. Y'all know that, don't you? How many of y'all know there are literal screwballs in him? Literal screwballs. It make no sense to be so dumb. Just the dumbest decision I heard. Dumbest stuff. Follow anything on the new. Scrap that. Scrap that thread they got with that wall or strong wall. Just scrap that thread. <laughs> Let's scrap it all together. Y'all don't need no thread. Just stop it. <laughs> y'all to find some of the dumbest stuff. Waste up time. Some stuff y'all do. I just don't know if the brain in your head even pump blood. Some stuff. <laughs> some y'all. Y'all know, it wouldn't be bad. Don't y'all know people here don't even believe in you? Some of y'all push that up. Nobody believes you. Nobody believes you. And y'all to put some stuff. You know, all you do, I just be like, man, I ain't going to post nothing. Because nobody believe me. Let me just show myself to be somebody that folk have confidence in me before I put anything up. People need to have confidence in before you do something. People, why me? Because people got confidence in me. I have credibility in what I say. You have no credibility. Your stuff dumb. You'll follow anything on YouTube. You follow anything. Don't y'all know some of these idiots on these people on this stuff? Let me tell you something. I don't have time for social media. I tell you before. Y'all do what you want to do. A lot of this stuff I see for do. It's just a waste of my time. If I can't make no money do it, I don't really have time to really fool with. It's real a waste of my time to hold me up. Some stuff y'all get yourself tied up. Then you got your kids on this dumb stuff. The kids are dumb. They're dumb. They're just completely dumb. Because y'all open them to a world of stupidity. You got more perverts, more freaks, more murderers, more psychos and rapers on these, on these, on these social media sites. It's not safe anymore. It ain't like it was when you first started. You go in, him, you can get some stuff you get. It's most psychotic, dumb, stupid stuff I ever seen. It's like, I don't know how you ain't got the intelligence to sit out and waste it with it. But, you know, but that's just the way y'all at. That's just the way y'all at. I know you feel good about yourself. I tell you about some of these sites. I man, the people download your phone. They tell you that stuff. They download all your information. They still just dumb. I got to get in the way. 
And ain't you doing that wrong? It's just why? What's, what's the fascination of these people downloading your iPhone? Where's your location? Where's your mama location? I ain't trying to have sex with you. What, I mean, what you need my locate? Can I have access to your phone? Can you have access to your mama phone? Right. All right, my locate. I, I don't put this stuff. Put no stuff on my phone. I only entertain some of that stuff. Entertain my camera and my. What you need my files for? I'm just looking. Why you need access to my files? And go. If you ask it, the answer is no. Because there's something you ain't got no business. When I come back to sue you, your, your ring going your ring gonna be, you gave me, I gave you permission. That's why they ask you for permission, because I'm doing something you ain't got no business doing. But because you gave them bit, if it was something you weren't doing, it was safe, you wouldn't ask me, you just do it. That's a whole nother thing. Don't worry about it. I don't know, I don't know why I had to tell y'all that. But that that that's something right here. It, in these days, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to name one of my son P Love. I'm gonna have to divide with some of y'all too. Have to separate. Because it ain't going to work out. Well, I'm mad in my mind what I'm thinking that we got to get this thing right. A lot of y'all don't waste a lot of time. You know, set him. You just done drugs. Just hell us down. You just going backwards. You ain't getting up. But I talked to one of them. I told somebody we I said, I ain't seen him do no better yet. I've never seen no improvement at some of y'all. Some of y'all, you have just been terrible the whole time. But you ain't got no better. Your first day walking might be your best day you've ever given. And that really want a whole lot saying then. And I don't see you getting no better. So for some of y'all, you'll be getting ready to get that pat. When you get that pat, don't ask me what it means. I'm going to be clear and I'll be frank with you. They're going to be take off from now to eternity. I see you again in the mosh pot. There are people that want to be saved. Y'all got it? I do it with the few. I don't need that many. I want everybody to get on that seat and get on that end of looking at it. It's time to get this stuff right. We done played around long enough. Let's just get this thing right. We got to get these kids right. We got to establish something so these kids will have something to follow. And a lot of y'all just piss poor patterns for them to follow. They need to see people doing what they need to do, and it's not hard. You know, I never knew my dad would be a screwball, an idiot, or a stupid fool. I don't know how some of y'all made it. Some of y'all, if y'all kid can tell y'all, you know they'll tell you? You are a screwball, you are an idiot, and you are a stupid fool. That's bad, because you look at a parent, you look at them, you more or less set a model. You set a track for them to follow. So it's a place you need to be. And then some of y'all want to get married, but just be honest, what could you offer? They need patterns, something they can follow. I can do this because I see something. I can mimic something. Look here. There's absolutely nothing to follow. You have nothing to offer them. You should be ashamed of yourselves. For everyone that find, you should be ashamed of yourselves. We are better people than what we've been told about ourselves. We are better people than what we've been performing and we've been doing. And it's time for us to get ourselves right. That's just man, stop making excuses. It's time to get it right. We done messed around long enough. Hello? Yes, sir. Okay. I just want to make sure about I know for a lot of y'all they don't they don't really kind of strike you to be something you care about, but you need to. You need to care about how you live and how people look at you. Y'all got it? Yes, That's just being honest. You should. You don't have more get up and go. Nobody shouldn't have to drag you to do nothing. You got to have some get up and go in yourself to make you want to go, make you want to do. Especially when you want to be saved. <clears throat> Hardest thing you ever come in your life is salvation. Everything out there, man, it kids play. It's for the take. It kids play. Listen, you had one man, Caleb, told me he want to go up and take a whole city by itself. So how hard did he have to actually see that? You couldn't find in your mind if it was a midget that you couldn't do it. A midget with no arms and no leg, and you had an automatic machine gun that shoot just when you point it, and it's accurate. You couldn't even do it. That man had a mind to go up and take it by himself. So let her go up and do it at once. We'd be well able to do it. He like, it's too easy. But you know what? You've learned so much that we've experienced from these people put such a fear on us till y'all just ain't got the drive and want to do it. It's kind of like, you know, you need a Baptist hymn book. I've seen more spiritual added in a Baptist hymn book. What a, a charge to keep our hell and a God to glorify. There's some of the dry, some of the initiative I've seen done, just pathetic. I don't, I don't know how y'all do it. I don't know how y'all do it. But our goal is to do better. How about that? Let me see if that's, uh, hmm, let me see. 
I don't know what I think. Say that Tahalim, say that 33 and 30 for whatever reason come to my mind. What is it I want? Is it 22? So what was I thinking? Hmm. Mm -mm. Okay, no. Then that's not what I want. Why did I, why did I think that then? Do um, all our hot dabarine. Hot dabarine. We'll look at uh, mm, four and one. I don't like that mess, do you? I just want to make sure we're right when we leave him. Get all the excuses out. Get all the complaints out. Get all the, get all the fault finding out that we use to make excuse for not doing what we need to do. Everybody. All right. Listen. Now, therefore, Shama, O Yasharal, unto the statues and unto the moshpot, which I lama you, for to do them, that you may kai, and go in and possess the arats which Yahuwah Allahim of your Abba giveth you. The, the Greeks told them too uh, that they're going and they'll multiply, which only makes sense. If you're living, you should multiply. It only makes sense that if you're living, you should multiply. By the, by the teachings and by the doing, he said, of which I will teach you, which is to show you, to instruct you, to do it, to do it the day that you may live and be multiplied. Y'all got it? And so that you might inherit the alarm of the land of the arats, which the Yahuwah, your Elohim of your Abba giveth you, which is of your fathers. Okay? So he's going back. Which will make sense? Who do we look at as an inheritor? A father? A son. So when he talked to them about them living, about them multiplying, and talking about them inheriting, then he went back to them about their Abba, about him being the Yahuwah, the existing one, the mighty one of their fathers. That's who gives it to you. He allows that. Let's look at some Barashit. See if there's one in about, I don't know, so 119, one, see if there's one, eight, I don't know, one and eight. Let's see some. I had to read down, I'm sure. All right, listen. And Elohim, Kara, the firmament, Shamayim, mm -hmm. in the evening, in the morning, or the second yum. And Elohim said, let the Mayim under the Shamayim be gathered together unto one Malkum, and let the dry Arats appear. Mm -hmm. And it was so. And it was so. And Elohim, Kara, the dry Arats, Kara, the dry land Arats, and gathering together they of the Mayim, Kara, he, Yom. Mm -hmm. And Elohim yeah, saw that saying. it was too. All right, he said that it was good. Come on. And Elohim said, let the arats bring forth grass, the herb yielding seed, and the pari ots yielding pari after his kind, whose seed is in itself upon the arats. And it oh, was so. Hold on. Let me tell you what. Just same thing. Let the arats, the land, bring forth the herbs of the grass bearing, bearing what? And the pari ots. Oh, I'm not sure. So y'all people can't say seed. I know I'm pointing at seed, bearing seed. So we're gonna look at the seed. We're gonna look at the sun. We'll look at the sun. He just told her that's bearing seed, according to its, and according to its likeness. So when Yahushua said, "He that has seen me has seen the Abba," where you get the understanding of the premise? Well, look at it. So if the grass gonna bring forth seed. They're going to put the grass in a father state. 
and the seed bears a son. So when does the son become a father? When it bears seed. That's how we call Yahushua the alum, the alum Abba. And because he continued, alum is forever. He's continuing to bear seed. Yosef was the Ben of who? Yaakov, who we call Yasharal. And he became a father. We hear Afarim, fruitful. Now, where was that seed at? That's what your book told you. The seed was in itself. So when Yahushua told us that he came out from the Father, how do we understand that? Where did, so where did the new grass come from? It came out from the old, which will put the old grass in the Father's state and put the new grass at being a son, which means it was an inheritor. So, so the reason why I'm telling you, these are simple premises that we're looking at. Very simple. Very simple. Very simple premise. He wanted the herb of the grass bearing what? Seed. So what if I don't bear no seed? He wasn't talking to me anyway. I was only talking to the ones that bear the seed. Okay? Kind of like when you who suspected those Yahoo deemed that. What was it again? That a mind on him. I mean... So, I mean, is he talking to anybody else? Well, say he was talking to them that are mind on him, which is that they believed on it. So if you didn't believe, I wasn't talking to you anyway. See, these simple premises helps us to understand. I was just reading the fourth chapter with you guys, and remarkably, this makes sense, doesn't it? So he's talking, he, he wanted to bring forth the herb of the, the herb is coming from where? It's of the grass. So if the herb is coming from the grass, I would have to look at the grass like the father because the herb is coming from the grass. Bearing what? Seed according to its and according to its That's what he said. So it made sense when he that has seen me has seen the apple. Hello? Because they're bearing the same traits. When Yahushua said that you are of your Abba the, the same, what was he trying to say? You, that's right. You got the same likeness. Hello? That you're the seed of. And a matter of fact, you were told in the book of Yeshayahu, he called him a seed of Rosh Hashanah. See, the reason why he would call you a seed, because you would have to go back to the fathers. See, stuff that you don't want to think of and you feel like things just stop. I'm looking at Pattern. If you are a seed of evil doers, where does the seed come from? It comes from the Abba. Which means the seed is going to have a likeness, a resemblance. It's going to be kind. It's going to be according to. Okay? So when he came to you that condemnation, it was just not to you. It was also to your Abba. Hello? If he called us a seed of Rosh Hashanah, you got to look at the Father. Because the seed, it was in itself. It came out from the Father. See, these are things that um, we can understand. But for some reason, we have the hardest time trying to understand what he's trying to get us to do from a Ruachni position, which is a spiritual position. And that's what we have to understand. Now, we're going to go back and we'll look at what he was telling us. And so he's telling us about bearing seed according to his kind and according to his likeness. And the pari ots, which is the fruit tree, bearing what? Pari. How would it be a fruit tree and it's not bearing? Wow. Yahushua said every breath that in him that doesn't do what? That don't bring forth fruit is what? Because it's not essential. It's, essential means it's promoting something. You're not promoting anything. So why would I keep you? It only makes sense to cut you off. Wow. So he's talking about and the, what they'll call fruit tree, par, where pari fruit, ox tree bearing, whose seed is in it, the seed is in it, according to its, what kind, what kind of fruit, Justin, can an apple tree bear besides apples? Okay, here's somebody else. Ryder, what kind of fruit can an apple tree bear? Besides apples. Okay. 
a hog. What kind of fruit can an apple tree bear other than apples? I don't know what's going on today. Just so. Care. What kind of tree? What kind of fruit can an apple tree bear other than apples? Does anybody have a reason why y'all answer y'all all say the same thing? Say because the seed in itself. Where would it get the ability to do anything other? So <clears throat> let's go with you in Yahushua and you bearing something different than what he does. How did you get that ability? So if an apple tree can bear oranges, can it still be an apple tree? No. You can't do right. Can you actually be of Yahuwah? No. What would you think about an apple tree that bear oranges or plums or raisins? What would you say? No. You got to stop it. Because somewhere or another it went wrong. Somewhere along, something went contrary. You go, back to, you go back to the root. Just like with Yahushua, it was important to look at, this was a seed, right? Well, it was important to know when you go back to start tracing it, find out about the roots. And that's how you got back to Daoud. It's important to get back to the root so you can find out exactly why is this ice or why is this pottery here? Where did it stem from? Which is typically what holds on an apple or orange. It's a stem. So you want to look at where it stems from. Go back to the root. So now we start looking at behaviors that we, I include all those, behaviors that we manifest. Let's go back to the root. Hello? So you can try to rationalize and try to make sense out of it, but for some reason y'all guys would only agree that an apple tree can only bear apples. But then you can do something and bear something different than what he told you, and you can still be close to, resembling, and like. Is a raisin like an apple? Is an orange like a pineapple? So you ain't nothing like you. So we got to start going back to the root to look at where things changed up at. See, the purpose of teaching is to make sure they can see for it. Just like Adam, they were able to see in the gun how things were aligned when he got there. Adam was not just placed in the gun that we would read and take. It would, it would make absolutely no sense. That you just put a man over a company and let him go. He needs to know about the company. He needs to know, how, he needs to know about operations. He needs to know how systems are set. He needs to be able to identify. Hello? He was set there to till and to keep it. Y'all know that? If he don't know what he's doing, he's going to make a mess. He needs to understand how things operate. You need to know. how you, You're trying to accomplish salvation. How are you going to do it if you don't know how things operate, how things are set up? Hello? It goes through by teaching, by showing. <clears throat> Hello? By showing, by instructing. It happens in the wild. When you see an Ari, an Ari has learned from his aim and from his Abba. He's learned pattern of behavior. They follow the same, you watch, they follow the same behavior. It's the same trait because they stem out and they give them that same teaching. And with us, for some reason, we've broken off. We've gone astray. We turned aside. We quickly got off the path. So now we're trying to go back to look at where did the break start at? Hello? Because we can clearly see in the gun what's happening here. If he's telling them the seed to bearing, bearing seed according to its kind. So I'm, I'm sitting here. I'm a blade of grass. And I'm going to start shooting out muscadine. Where I get that from? Where that muscadine power to look at my old, look at my old round head, little boy. You say, look, you say, man, I'm a blade of grass, and I got a muscadine laying on him. So don't we look like twins? You know what they're gonna tell me? That ain't your child. Nope. What you talking about? That ain't my child. That's not your child. Y'all look nothing alike. Ain't you know what happened with you? That's what Yahuwah keeps saying. That ain't my child. We look nothing alike. We have nothing in common. You see that? So everything had to be shown. First of all, you need to identify what you are. So you'll know what you see. That's why everything had an identity. It wasn't just, I put a bunch of stuff out here and everybody, whatever y'all want to call it. No, everything specific. It was set for a reason. 
Everything was given a behavior and told what to do. Hello? Why wow, did he tell the water to create after its kind? Whose water is in itself? No, he knew exactly who he told what to do. Everything had to follow protocol and follow pattern. So everybody was shown. Everybody know what they're supposed to do. Like he told her, but oh man, he's shown you what it's to. And what does Yahuwah require? This was his requirements. In order for you to stay in existence, in order for you to stay in mind what they would call quote unquote good graces, you had to follow this pattern. Hello? Now we look at for us, where are we? Okay? Let's see what they're talking about. According to his kind on your right, and it was. So, so we know that the problem didn't start him. Because once he told it, he knew what to do. So let's go with this. Once you told what you're supposed to do, what's the problem when you can't do it? No pattern? You don't know? Nobody told you? Nobody taught you? What you going to use? What's your problem? Because stuff like this is going to shoot you in the foot. How much brain does a blade of grass have? Look it up, boss. We don't know. How much brain? So why the grass? So if it ain't got a brain, why don't it do something stupid? Why don't it just turn into a tree or just turn into an octopus? A blade of grass got to have some kind of brain. Why would he be telling it to do something and it couldn't possibly do it? Has anybody looked at the brain of a, has anybody ever seen the size of the brain of a, grain of, of, a, of a blade of grass? Yet it can recognize, it can respond, and it can hold to a pattern. What is our problem? What is it with a blade of grass that has no brain but has enough understanding that it can hear something and it can continue to do it. A man that he given and said, matter of fact, make him like me. I'll let you have a decision in the matter. I'll let you make a choice in the matter. I'll let you destroy it. I'll let you give Kai just like I do. And yet you're the dumbest thing on the planet. Hello? Anybody heard um, Dirt Talk? Anybody? Saying on Christ the side of rock I stand, all of the ground is. Mm. He done gave it a yum water and gave it a decree, said so it can't pass over it. Right. We was down there, oh, that thing was coming, that thing was whooping us up down there. That thing, that thing threw me down one time. We was in a bad spot. That thing threw me down and I couldn't get myself back up. I find you had to let me just, I, I just let the water just throw me out of it and just put me up on the sand. Pan was loaded full of sand. I said, I said, this thing here is real tricky. I said, this thing had low, bottom of my pan was just loaded with sand. And that water just started pushing it. Just, I just had to just take me out, just threw me up on the sand where I could find it, just get myself pulled out. And I looked at it. And yet it had enough sand. I said, very tricky. This thing got its own mind. It can pull you in and do what it want to do to you. It's very manipulative. It'll make you think it's okay. And before you know it, it's moving the whole time. And because it's moving all the time, you'll miss the seed that is rising. It'll move you, you won't even know. You know, it's a man, he told you, let us know for, that we his for be no more. What was that again? Tossed, what was it again? What? What do we know being tossed? Size of salad. That's right, the water, tossing. To and fro by every wind of doctrine, by the slight of men. It can move that easy on you. You have no idea it can move, and it'll move you, you'll never even know it. You'll think you're in the same place you'll look up and you'll find yourself far from where you started out at. This stuff got a mind of its own and it obeyed it here. And it all fought. when it get through tossing and going, you know I realize this is far as I go. It's got that it's got some type of mind that it goes and says, This is far as I go. He said, I gave it a decree that it can't pass over. Them little grains of salt will hold it right down. That's all he's using to hold it down. And you know what? This man looking at. Nothing can't hold you for some reason. He got all that water and it's all surrounded by sand. Little granules of dirt he got sitting here. I said, I want you to hold it. You know, I tell you, when I lose it, nobody can't stop me. He said, that's amazing. Because I use little grain of salt to hold that. And I know you're not stronger than that. I know you can't move like that. I know you ain't got the force or the power. And yet, nothing can stop you. Nothing can hold you. Could all it be set up for us in the day of my spot? Hello? I know what you're thinking about when it come and overspill it veins. He only do that because he told you, I'll just show you how, so how it vomits. Yeah. There are things I need to get rid of. 
Your stomach will do the same thing. Let me tell you something. I put something down in your stomach, your stomach don't like, you'll get queasy. You'll get queasy. You'll start feeling uneasy. Then you'll start feeling nauseous. Your stomach actually will come together and say, you know what? We can't break this down. They say, sometimes your stomach, you can't feel kind of good, but you know what? You kind of lay down a little bit and you kind of get a bit, you get better because your acid come together. In fact, we can break it down. We overcame it. Then it's time he let you know you can't overcome this one. Vomit. I need, to, I need you to expel it. And when you expel it, how you feel? He said, you know what? I'm starting to feel better. When you hood let that, when he let the mine, the water go through, you know what he look at? I'm starting to feel better. I expel some stuff I need to get out. I have some stuff I need to get out. I feel better. Hello? How many of y'all felt better since I you been thrown up? Sometimes you might have thrown up more than one time. How many of y'all it took several times before you finally got there? And then what happened? And guess what? That's why you keep doing it. I'm almost where I need to be. I just need that one more good throw up. That'll be it. But you don't consider it. That's why he do it. Just so you'll see, I do that. He said, it's stuff I need out of him. It make me sick. I need to get rid of it. And it's just a matter of time, you're going to be on his menu. Not for consumption, but for vomit. So whose seed is in itself, according to its kind, only rise to sow it with salt. So let's go back to that fourth chapter right quick of the book of Allah Dabarim. All right. They call it Deuteronomy, but the proper name is Allah Hadabarim. I think some of them just put Dab. They'll just put Dabarim, words, plural. That's the plural for words. We put it, and these are the words, basically. Excuse me. Listen. Verse now, 1. Therefore, Shama, O Yasharal, unto the statutes and unto the Majpots, which I lum at you, for to do them, that you may kai and be multiplied. And go in and possess the arats which Yahuwah, Allahim of your Abba, giveth you. So let me ask y'all a question. So when he set the, the first arts, the first blade of grass out, those we'll consider to be, well, we'll consider them to be the father. Simply because they didn't stem out from nowhere. Okay? But in order for them to actually have that title, really encompass, it was going to be a support they were going to need a seed. Hello? The only reason we would have looked at them as the father is simply because they came out from no one. Isn't that right? Yet he spake to them. Everything he telling Musha to do him about, <laughs> slide it down a little bit more. Let's see. And now, Yasharal, you identifying the one that ruled as Allahim. Here, Shama, here with the intent to do what the ordinances and the mashpots, the judgments. And all that I limit you, this you to do, this is what you put. When he told the grass what it was supposed to do, they had an option. That's what you're supposed to do. The arts, that's what you're supposed to do. No options. Everything was told, that's what you're supposed to do. That's why they need to listen. So they had to have some kind of brain. How did they know to do it? How did the grass keep growing? Why the grass ain't die? Soon as he said it should have died, the first sun came up. Because everything had the shama, because that was the ordinances. Those, that's why he got a problem with us. Y'all don't know why he got a problem. I'd be pissed. I would be pissed. If everything on the rocks can hear me and do what I tell them to do, except you. And I made you like me. I'd be pissed with us too. I would be pissed. Every time I see grass, still grass. I still odds. Pari, still pari. The elephant, whatever the, the original name is, but it's still the same thing he made it. It's still, hadn't found one produced no, no hippopotamus yet. I ain't seen a giraffe yet, can't they say, I'm a mole. Inside me, I'm a mole. Only a man will come out and tell him, it's a woman inside of him. Only a woman. How, think about how pissed you'll be. Everything I made is still to this day. With all the destruction, everything I've done, none of it changed. You can say, you know what, man? You done destroyed this stuff so much. I've been with you, man. I don't know what I am. I don't know what I am being with you. I'm so confused. We're the only people. We are the only people that sit around and we just cannot get it together. It makes sense to kill all of us. 
We're too dumb to keep existing. What's the purpose of it? When you got stuff like a blade of grass, you got a tree, everything's still doing the same thing. Now he's saying, listen, and now, Yasharal, I want you to show me the ordinances and the mosh pots and all that I, I love at you. This you to do that you may live. This is what he told you, that unashamed shall not live by bread alone, but by what? Doesn't it make sense? By everything, but listen, I want you to hear the ordinance, the judgment, all that I teach you, because this is how you're going to live. This is how you, that's why you need to listen with the intent. People say they want to live. There's no way you want to live and you're afraid of dying. You can make it down. It's impossible. That's worse than a baboon statement. There's no way you want to be saved. There's no way. You can't commit guitar and say you want to be saved. You can't commit and say you want to live. You'll be a liar, Kazal. What did he just tell them in order to live? What he told them to white, the white got it, listen. What he told them to do? Oh. Because a lot of folks can say they do what he teach them to a degree. Hello? There'll be kids tell you they done their homework. Then you go back and check, you realize they hadn't done all of it. You say you lying. You said you done your homework. You didn't say all of it. You asked me, did I do it? I did what I was gonna do. I did what I wanna do. Oh yeah, y'all know how you play you play word game. That's why he covered you with all. I need them to hear all of them. So you'll live. Everything that wanna live, everything wanna exist, do what he say do. You know that? Everything that wanna live, that wanna exist, do what he say do. That's how he know whether or not you a hog, like if you're a hog, Kai. The book said he that with a hog, what was it? And with C, two, I mean, let him do what? And reframe his tongue, he speak no deceit. He said anybody that would do it, he'll keep himself. And that's what we're learning how to do now. I'm trying to look at, man, it's bad that a blade of grass is smarter than you. It's bad, it's bad, it's bad to rely dirt, it's smarter than we are. Everything continues except for us. So that you may live and be. This, 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 this was symbolism to I like what you're doing. Think about it. I, everything I said, I said was two. Keep, keep going. I like what you're doing. All that was symbolism. I like what you're doing. Keep going. But not you. I want you to stop. I want you cut off. I want you plucked up. I want you cast out. I don't like what you're doing. Y'all, do y'all know how, <laughs> listen, the same heart that he put toward things that he a heart is the same heart he put toward things he hate. Can we see the definition to a heart? No, we'll see it from uh, Abari, please, what they call Hebrew. Y'all can turn the app just a little bit. A hog. Have bonding. That's an attachment. Affection and attachment for in a. Good or bad thing. That man got an attachment. He has a bonding on killing you. A hog. A hog. A hog. He wants you to understand that it may say it don't make sense that a word that's good can have a, a bad connotation. But Yahuwah did say he give life and I also kill. So he wants you to know, don't get me twisted. What I do to you, it'll be nothing but a hog. Straight a hog. You know how we start smiling, I like that. He said, oh, it's all a hog. I have an affection for killing people that can't seem to follow. A hog. A hog. Because you done had yourself stuck on one way then. A hog. He said, that's in a good and a bad sense. He said, I have a strong attachment to warn you out of here. A hog. I want you dead. A hog. That's a strong attachment. It's an affection. Hello? Yeah, that's why we try to make sure we get it right. 
See, we got so comfortable, we learned one side of a word, and that was it. We were so glad. I have y'all. I have you now. How I mean it. It doesn't in a good or a bad sense. Because y'all get so caught up in the stuff, and you get going, you don't realize what this man going to do to any, all of us that don't get it right. Everybody, it ain't going to be nothing but a hog. Nothing but a hog. Hello? Everybody going to get a photo of my You hood don't a hog me. You better quit telling that lie. You who a hog everybody. That's why he told you, didn't he? He said, all of he was so a hog the alarm. Ain't that what he said? Wow. That's why he gave his only begotten being. That's in a good and a bad sense. Hold on for a minute. Isn't that what he's, hold on. Let's see how to look. Can we see it? Um, um, your Uka 9, 3 and 16. I'm with y'all. We're looking at this together. Now, see, because you know what happened? You live in a world where you don't want a mock. You don't want to hear the truth because the truth makes you require, it makes you responsible. Three and sixteen. Let's see that. Listen, this 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 the Bible verse you teach your kid <laughs> in Sunday school. Let's learn it. Listen. For Elohim, so Ahab be alone. By them, can we? Is that are we sure that word would be? I know this is the lad, so it'd be the Greek. Greek could give us a different word, wouldn't it? But we look at it from the Aubrey. Let's make sure. I want them to go. How we know? It's the same, because we know your mama. Well, they're going to give it. Let's see they Greek one, but we know the Aubrey. Let's see what the Aubrey render. Let's see what the Aubrey render it, and we'll look at the Greek. Because the Greek, will, it will make sense that the Greek will render it somewhat different, because they're going to use their word that's a comparison to them. They'll use their closest word that they have that could be in connection to our word, Ahab. Y'all got it? All right. All right. So it's the same thing. Have bonding, affection, and attachment for in a. Let's go back and look at it again. Let's see. Because your mind is trained to only think one way, everything good. Listen. For, For all he, so uh -huh. the alarm, as that he gave his only begotten being, that whosoever among in him do what should not perish, but have alarm kai, have everlasting life. What sense are we talking? What sense are we talking? Rock. I can hear y'all. What? In a good sense. Why would, why would it be bad? Listen. Let's see. Listen. 17. For, For Allah Hold on, they haven't moved it up. 17. For Elohim sent not his being unto the alarm to condemn the alarm, but that the alarm through him might be saved. So hold on for a minute. He said he didn't send him into it. See, this right here, that gift. you know what? He didn't, he didn't send his son. And I don't go along with folks condemn me. He was trying to tell you, retard. I didn't send him, I didn't send him in to do mosh pot. That's not why I sent him to do mosh pot yet. That's what people were confused on. When we heard that the son had come, we thought he would come to condemn us. That's amazing. How, how do I know this? Because when he came and he saw the devils, when he saw the, those shadim, those demons that was in the man, and I thought they want to know why was he coming to torment them? When was it? That's right. Why were they asking before time? Because they knew. Because they no, because they knew when he came, they knew, they knew what That's he right. was coming to do. That's right. But he had to let us know I didn't send him to my spot yet. So that's not, see, he didn't come. See, preachers be trying to make you feel bad. That's not why he sent it. No, you retard. He was telling you he hadn't set him up for the finest mosh pot yet. That's not why he sent him at the first. Y'all got it. But see, they done told you something like, see, he, people be around him. That's why I don't go nowhere. Nobody be trying to make me feel bad and try to tear you down. Because God didn't send his son in the world to condemn the world because you're stupid. He was trying to tell you I didn't send him to be a mosh pot yet. Okay? Same thing they looked at with Musha. What they asked Musha? That's right. And he fled from him. 
Did he do judgment? He did not. So how you understood it was when Musha was there. When he saw them fighting, after he had already killed one of them, when he saw a Misraite, a Misraite had started, he saw him um, um, fighting one of the uh, Arbery, he got in between and he killed him and buried him in the sand. And then it told you later on that he came across two, uh, our king, two brothers. And he set them and yeah. he set them one against another and said, you are king. Why are you fighting? And one asked him, who made you a ruler and a mosh pot? And who made you a shepherd, which was a judge? Are you going to slay us like you did to Miss Wright? And what he said, surely thing and no, he fled. Yeah. That's why he got out of there. Because at one time, yeah, later on, when his father-in-law, when his, his Abba in Torah, <laughs> when his father-in-law had seen him, he asked him, what was he doing? He said that the arm came to him for what? Wow. Wow. It was time. At one time for him. That's how he was trying to tell people. I don't know what people are so stupid for. And them folks were sitting around, he was trying to tell people about certain acts he, they were doing. He would let them know, this is not your final running with them. This man is going to come back here and they're going to do the same thing they did to Mashraw, Mash, uh, to Musha. All the people come to me for Mosh Pot. That's what they're going to find out. Everybody come to him. And the thing you need to know about Musha, why are you trying to take the pay attention? Because Musha was the son of a ruler. I don't know what the folks thank him. Hello? Hello? Pharaoh was his father. Where his mother's doing, but considering the grandfather would call his grandson his son. They ain't called grandsons that folk call them now. They call them their sons. It was theirs. That's my son. Musha's father was Pharaoh. I mean, Musha's father, yeah, he was Pharaoh. So who was sent down to judge? Musha was said, listen, the people come to me for my spot. He said, why I set him? I set him from Yum to Layla, because they come to me for Mosh Pot. And he told you, everybody got to come to the bin. But see, you wouldn't know that. He tried to tell you, if you believe Musha, you would have believed me. He was talking about me. So for Elohim said, not his son, been into the alarm to judge it. To, they told him I could do it. He didn't send him for the final mark, but that the alarm may be Yasha by him. him. He was trying to come and save some. It didn't make sense to come and judge everybody then. It was some people that he had to save. That's what the people didn't realize. He was going to save something first. Hello? Did it make sense that he was going to come in there and pay a judgment if he was going to sit down and mosh pot Ms. Ryan? Not while we was in it. Get them out. Get them out. He's going to do it. He had to save something first. Then I'm going to condemn it. Okay, same thing. What happened? The book said he condemned um, Simon Gomorrah, did it not? What was looting him at? I know they're thinking. He already said he was some sissy. Yeah, he done said a whole lot of folks sissy, but he didn't condemn them because he didn't destroy them yet. That's why he got them out. He said, I can't mosh pot them to get you out of him. Uh, we were still mixed in with Pharaoh on them. How the world you going to measure? He would have killed us too. That's how we knew he'll say something before he destroy it. The whole time he been waiting to settle. Let me teach y'all something. Y'all don't pay attention. Come on. So y'all understand this now? Let's see what he told you in that verse. Listen. Come on. He that Amon on him is, is what? Not condemned. This hair is not going to come into my pot. Come on. But he that Amon not is condemned already. See that? Oh, oh, what about the world ain't left yet? The world ain't over with. I already know I'm going to kill you. think he didn't know he was going to kill him, Sodom and Gomorrah until they got out? He already knew he was going to kill you. You don't think he knew he was going to kill Pharaoh until they got out? I already know I was going to kill him. I still need to get some people out. Because some people hard stuck on Pharaoh. Some people hard stuck on some of them people. I need to get them out. So I can go ahead and I can mosh pot them. Don't worry about it. He told you that he that among on him is not, it, hold on, he that uh, in him is not mosh pot judge. But he that doth not among is already mosh pot because he hath not a man in the shim of the only begotten being of Elohim. That's it. He got to believe in him. Listen. And this is the condemnation. Because what? That our ur is come into the alarm. And tell them what they do. And Anashim, aha, kashak. More rather? Rather than our ur. Why? Because their deeds were rushed. Rush. You know what they start looking at? How the kashak didn't comprehend. It couldn't actually embrace our ur. And that's why he used those two symbolism for you to pay attention to. They had been the way they had been the whole time. It had never been light. It was always dark. 
So whatever can go in the dark, whatever go in the night, it can happen. You ain't going to believe it till the sun come. Once the sun came, it didn't make sense. So you know what everybody did? I got to get out of him. I can't be him. It didn't make sense. That's why they ain't comprehended to a point they wouldn't stay. That's what I'm trying to tell you. A lot of y'all think you comprehend you not because you're not staying on task. When he told you about the light coming to work, this is only people who understood Barashit. That when the light came, don't you understand the darkness had to leave? It didn't make sense. That's crazy. Why would it be light? Darkness was better. Darkness is what they're accustomed to. Just like a lot of y'all. You look, that's why you stay here. That's why you stay. You do what you do. That's why you stay contrary. Because it don't make sense to you. And that's what you a hog. In a bad sense, a hog. Let's say, listen. For everyone that doth Rosha <laughs> hateth the Aura. You said do what now? That doth Rosha hateth the Aura. I'm sorry, Chris. They are hog. Yes, they do. It's just in a bad sense. Mm -hmm. They're a hobbit too. So people ain't lying when they say they're a hobbit. Because it's the same in the same sense. You do it in a bad sense. You know what I'm saying? Because of what you're everyone that does Rosha, they does Rosha, that's what you do. You a hob delight. This ain't in a good sense, it's in a bad sense for mm -hmm. you. You attached to something negative. That's why you mm -hmm. that's why you do what you do. You do have a hub. Don't let nobody tell you from my uh Alheem, please give me a hub. Nigga, you got it. Everybody got a hub. See, you've been sitting around lying to yourself. Tell me you ain't got a hub. You do. It's just on a negative sense. Listen. Neither cometh to the outwar, lest his deeds should be reproved. That's why I don't do it. That's why why you think night left? Light gonna show you up. That's right. It's time to go. That's right. And we learned that just like when, it, how you understood it too, is when Adam said he heard the call of Yahuwah. The book taught you that Elohim is our or he is light. And in him is no kashak at all, neither various or turning. He's not moving from what he said. That's why I told you don't go to the right or the left. They, listen, he's not going to turn. This man is going to do what his intent is. That's why Adam ran, because he hated the Aor. His deeds were going to be reproved. So what was he going to do? He had to get away from it. That's the same thing you do. You get away from what will show you up. And you stay here. Come on. But he that doth amat. Doth what? Amat. Uh -huh. Cometh to the Aur. For what that happened? That his deeds may be made manifest. So what, why? That they are wrought in Elohim. That's what he tried to tell you. See, and so when I see y'all when you don't come, and you go ahead, I know you're going to do it because that's how dumb you are. You're going to change up and you're going to stop. You know, I'm going finna, I'm to finna start coming. I wouldn't. And like he said, stay filthy still. Right. Stay, stay, stay rosha still. Right. The man coming and he'll reward with him. He'll get it. Everybody according to what your work should be. That's what he told you. You ran from the oil. You stayed away from it. You went contrary to it because you hate it. I'm sorry. You a hobbit. In a negative sense. So when Elohim sent his being into the alarm, when he sent his son into the world, as you call his being into the alarm, into the world, he sent him because of a hob. Remember? He a hobbed it. He a hobbed it to try to, he had in a good sense that though he going to say, he a hobbed it in a sense negative in the way or he was going to condemn him. This also was going to be your condemnation that you didn't come. Hello? That's right. Okay. So him calling and you not coming, what are we going to use symbolism? Who? Adam? Vashti. He wrote, don't let Vashti come no more. I don't want you back ever again. Because he looked there, when I called, you didn't answer. You were supposed to come. That's why he told you, the people that are hard, that are or, they come to it. So you can tell the difference in the love. If a hob is the same, why we tell you to love not the world? It should be only one way to do it. A hob, your love, you can have it in a negative sense, love in the world. He told you what's in the law, what's in the law. The lust of the, the, lust of the eye, the pride of life, 
All these things, he said, it's not of the who, but it's of who? You're going to do it anyway. He just told it to you because he knows you're going to be condemned because you're too stupid to realize, why would you do it if I told you not to do it? You know I'm going to kill you. Why would you do something I told you I'd do? You know I'm going to kill you. This, what you. this is what you tell yourself for those of y'all here who are doing your own backward thinking in your mind, trying to justify what you've been doing. Where could you think you possibly going to be going other than she -on? If he told you not to do something, you did it. Where, would you, where else could you possibly be going? It would make absolutely no sense. Where could you be going? I told you not to do it. That's the same thing told him. He said, didn't I tell you not to touch it? Yeah, um, she had all uh, told him, man, I, I'd be, man, I, man, I'd be so bad, I'd be working so hard, man. I had pulled a double. I hear that. I told you not to touch it. And this is one of the things where we look at this was for our learning, this is for our teaching, yet you guys don't get it. See, we get a lot of time put in us. We get a lot of information. We get a lot of explaining. Shabbat, we spend three hours easy. Shabbat, later, I out had two hours easy. So when you got behavior contrary, you don't realize it's going to be worse on you than other people. So ain't like you send somewhere where well, some just get thrown out there. You got to go home and pray up and figure it out. We'll look up the word. We'll try to understand it. We'll try to look at it from a, from a natural sense of how things work to make sure we got comparison. Versus when you was a Christian, you had all the sense in the world and ain't compared to nothing. Stuff you put in, you compare, you think about it, it had nothing to do with absolutely nothing. But you took it. You took it. Now he give you stuff, give you, let it be explanatory to you, give you perfect examples on it. Go over and look up the word from the English, then look at the Aubrey word, make sure you got to understand. Look over and see, does this make sense that this is something I said? Does this make sense? So if it does, why won't you do it? But he does that just make sure it be no excuse in their mosh pot. You ain't going to be at the hollow. I ain't speak Aubrey. You ain't going to speak English. You don't obey nothing. No matter what it gives to you, you ain't going to obey it. The people he cut out the first time, they spoke perfect operate. And he cut them off. Because it's got to be in your law. And it's time for everybody to be honest and be serious with yourself, be sincere with yourself. You are not the best member. You're terrible. Oprah, if I had whipping, she told her, y'all rotten kids. No, Hoppo, you rotten. Y'all some rotten kids. You know, y'all, it, it don't make sense to stay that way. Y'all get too much teaching. You don't need no passes. You don't need no pet. I, I won't pet you. I ain't going to hold you. I ain't going to encourage you to do nothing but get up your sorry behind and do what you're supposed to do. That's all you'll get. You'll get no extra from me. Don't make no sense. Who, who picked me up and told me? Who carried me? You got to carry yourself. Everybody, you're responsible for yourself. It's two of we in here together and what we got and how we work together. But at the end of the day, and the beginning, you need to first learn how to carry yourself. Hello? Y'all should roll halted on his own leg. Did nobody pick him up? That man that pulled his leg right out the joint. You won't find no weapon. Nobody picked him up and carried him. That man had all them boys. That boy had 12 boys to pick him up. Not one of them carried The book say he halted on. You know what Yahushua told him? He said it'd be better going to law, halted, halting, going in the Kai. Than if you have both your legs and ain't nothing wrong with it, and you're going to walk yourself straight in the shell. Hello? Well, the maggots don't die, and the fire ain't going to be quenched. He ain't going to put it out. And they understood that because they understood Gehenna. Well, they burn up everything with rotten, everything that was refuge, anything they can take. If, we, if he wouldn't accept it, what am I going to do with it? Well, I just take it back home and just keep it around the house. Let me tell you. What, what, so let's just think about it. You know, what, what are we going to do with this thing that he can't use? Probably keep it around there and try to grow it better. What sense is it going to make? If he done rejected you, what am I going to do with you? The best thing to do with it, take it and put it in good handle. Burn it. That's where you're going to put it at. Everything on the outside. People think, you know, they think about They're going to be outside the male cool knocking. No. When he told you outside with dogs and social, everything there, uh, hard and make it a uh, uh, kazaa. Did y'all actually think, go ahead, Tetra, how many of y'all thought they were going to be standing around outside? He told you without. Without mean you ain't within. Y'all got it? Without was, that's where you burn all this stuff. They want not burn nothing inside the walls. Everything that was burned with fuel was on the outside of that wall. And that was for the burn. That was fuel for the fire. 
So if you couldn't make it in, you want to be standing outside knocking around, your behind finna go into burning. See, when you got that and you understand, versus y'all thinking you finna be lagging around somewhere, hanging around some gate, you can forget that nigga. You burning. So that's why it's important for us to get this right now. Get rid of dispel them lies you got in your mind. Them possibles. Like you playing spades. No, you ain't got nothing. Nah. Depending on how it fall, that's the only place it's going to work in spades. I assure you, spades, the only place they're going to work, that something going, a ten of diamond wound up being a high thing, and a, ain't no spades left. And you're going to have to get a lead, some your partner got a lead, some go in and fell over to you to get it. You won't, it will never happen with you. Y'all got it? That's it. Everything going to fall and already in the field. He told you it fell on him. That's it. Ain't nothing gonna fall your way. You gonna have to live this to get this right. I don't try to make any mind tonight now. Now you get that towel. I'm just using coming for the youth. I'm just using for the coming for Hypothet come on. I'm just for a hypothetical now. Yeah, I saw I didn't take off. What 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 is it? What that is, preacher? What? Need to talk to you. Get get security. He ain't listening. So we're not buying a head and feed the cap. I just use for example. Don't keep standing around asking all them questions. You know where you're going. Just go ahead and end it. Because you know what? It need to be the threat of everybody here, including me. I threaten you to be on. You're going to burn. That's why I'm doing what I do. You think I, I got a pass? What y'all think happened to me? I'm inexcusable. He said, you must by other people, and you don't must by yourself. He said, you think you're going to escape the judgment of Allah? So what I'm going to do? He's going to have me sit on the side of him. It's going to be Yahuwah, Yahushua, and me on the other side. I'll be in the line, too. It'd be harder for me than it'd be for you. Everybody got to get it right. Everybody got to get it right. Everybody got to get it right. That's where we at. Now, you ain't got to. That's you. Listen, there's a whole world out there. Where you going? Listen here. Do y'all understand? This thing finna, listen, this thing is finna break apart any day, okay? This is where we at, okay? You got a complete mess with China, Taiwan, and the U.S. This is a complete mess. We need everything China got in this song. America is independent of absolutely nothing but stupidity, okay? We need China. They have been bored of Y'all seen Apple done got rid of some stuff. They done got rid of they, all that forehead on that Taiwan was a country. They said, we got rid of all that junk. They done already done punk Apple. You know, they took Apple stuff and started their own Apple over in China. Did y'all know that? Man, they been got their own Apple. They, listen, China been had their own. They got an Apple store there. Ain't got nothing to do with Apple like we got China like man, we don't answer nobody. Y'all do China control Hollywood. You know what you ain't finna see on in no movie? Go look up the recent Chinese movie of a bad Chinese man in there. You won't be seeing it. They stopped all that. They told China listen, there's nobody that buys more American movie, pay more American movie than China. Did y'all know that? Nobody. China got more people than anybody. Hollywood needs China. White Jews. And Chinamen, you need them. They can't show them. China, they cut that out. All that stuff showing an evil Chinese man. Listen, like, where, where y'all get this from? Y'all can't do that. That's over with. Everybody apologizing. Y'all say bad out. They were calling Taiwan a country. Nancy Blow, they went, but they said, she don't know what she was talking about. They said, no, Taiwan not no country. That's a territory. <laughs> don't y'all know China lost it for calling them a country? Apple had it on some. Listen, companies done already came out, apologized, said, listen, we misspoke. Not a cut. That's not making this up. Man, this, this it's some company that ran and listen, they already came straight out apologize about that. That's a no. China, listen, no. Taiwan not a country, it's a territory. China said, we got a one China policy. Don't, you'll never refer to them as no country. That's China. And we're taking it. Man, they shooting bombs at, and the U.S. done stuck their stupid mouth. They got to get ready to jump on here and put some, put some people in play. I don't know how you're going to beat them. I don't know how you're going to beat nobody that got more women than you got in your whole military. That's the women. So if they smart, let them fight all the women and get whooped up. These soft niggas. <laughs> then fight the men. You got less. How, much, how scary it is they got more women than you got men? They, no, I'm sorry, than you got in your whole entire military. That's just the women. What you going to do when you fight the men? You already wore out. You ain't gonna win that war. That Russia stuff a mess. You know we how many of y'all know we messed up Russia come and messed that up? Good. Russia doing very well. Did y'all all that stuff we crippled Russia doing very well. 
they oligarchs went in here and all of them switched their money into gold. They're doing very well. They went straight to Sudan and took the money. Nigga always suffer. They go straight to Africa, take everything from Africa. They done done it. But see, that's how Spain then went over. They ran out of money where they went. Straight to Africa for the gold. Everybody followed the same pattern. That's how, that's how Africa got destabilized. These folk fight. When white folk fight war, they bad at marketing. They bad at money managing. White folks are terrible. They are terrible. They always go to Africa and take all the riches and then run back and say, we still got it. We always suffer. This Mar-a-Lago stuff they just pulled down here in Florida. This is a big mess. And they did it while he was in New York. Y'all do know he went to New York with the judge ordered him. Who know what the judge ordered him before he got down? They told me to complete the film. You know what he told them? I plead the film. He right back out of there and gone. You know what they realized? This is a flat mess. You know it's a flat mess? Would you want to be the person to go lock Trump up and let that hit the news? Do you know what them white boys going to do? Y'all seen the threat they done already told them? Kill the feds. Defund it? No, no. They saying kill them. They saying kill it. Listen, man. These white folk done went live. Kill the feds. They want the attorney general. They said want him dead. Hang him. They want him hung. They want him dead for going to his house. What y'all think they gonna do when they listen? The FBI said we investigate all these threats. You can't investigate all them people. They way too many, and they ain't gonna do nothing like they do a nigga. You gonna put the F on your computer and get pushed? They come to your house. You finna spell Fred. It's too close. Fred too close to Fed. You going to jail? I'm telling you that. Listen, they scared these white folk, and now they sitting back realizing this was the worst move they made. It bad. Because when they go get this, listen, at any time when he want to drop his mouth and tell these folk, they coming after me, they're going to take me, you next. Them white boy coming to him, Blake, listen, this is a fight they can't handle. They're going to be, listen, this will listen, be nothing like the Civil War was. You know who going to get shot? Niggas. They killing niggas. Y'all fat, sorry, joker too, ain't got no gun. Sloppy, can't do nothing. Proud warrior, full of yeast. Ain't that right? Full of ho ho and twinkie vomit. But y'all do better stop being a talk. These white folks finna blow y'all. They finna shoot y'all to smell the ring. Y'all see it? Listen, y'all know they gonna make, who they gonna say? Hold on. Who, they gonna be, who elected them? They, who they gonna put this on? How in the world the people that's the minority in the whole country could elect the man that you gonna use a popular and electoral vote to get him? The only reason they give them the electoral vote because you don't want a popular vote. Most of them gonna give. They're supposed to give to because listen, the majority of people voted for you, so I'm gonna have to give you my electoral vote. Explain to me how 12 percent of the whole population of 100 percent can elect the president. Do you know how dumb you gotta be to even listen to that conversation? You make up 12 percent. You know how many niggas in jail? Now you at 3% of niggas that vote. Not to mention nigga don't go. You at point negative 15. And you tell me you elected the president. Most niggas don't even vote. Explain me you make up 12% of 100% and you are the majority of people that voted for this man. That makes no sense when most of you are felons. What are we going to do with all the people incarcerated? What are we going to do with all the people that's out with a felon that can't vote? And you still telling me that we elect, that means white people don't even vote. We need to get on white folks. If we elect him, that means white people don't vote. That's how dumb you got to be to entertain a conversation with these retarded white people. That makes no sense whatsoever that you elected nobody. You never elected nobody. You ain't even got the people. You've never been in position to elect nobody. You ain't even get an opportunity to vote the what, 68 or so, when Johnson gave you, when, when Johnson came in right in the late 60s to start voting. The nigga ain't never had no right to do nothing. I don't know what they got going on. Well, and that's what you want to believe. That's how dumb, y'all. They just tell you anything. When they go down and they decide they're going to move, they're going to move forward because they're not that bright. They're going to move forward. They're going to strike on their man. Their man. All that man got to do is get to a mic his kids, anybody, and they tell them they done took him, our president, they don't refer him to no vote. 
they refer to one American new new Matt. They said the president Donald Trump, and they got that old sorry looking piss pole bell. I wish they paint that bell white. I'm so sick of that. It's like a nigga bell. Please change the color of that bell. Much of white folk hate Why they make a polar bell? Why they make the bell look like a nigga bastard? Now they gonna put the bell on us. When that man look like a chocolate bell? They should have made a orangutan for that joker. Ain't more orangutan than anything. Ain't that right? Well, that's in the way. I'm gonna get rid of let y'all go, but y'all to see. This thing finna unravel. When it do, y'all need to make sure y'all in your hood. They're gonna be the man. Y'all see that COVID thing going around? Somebody just went, they told them, so they told them, you can have it as long as 90 days. 90 days. 90 days. You're gonna be fired. Y'all see, let me tell you something, man. Y'all ain't seen that yet. This whole thing finna unravel. What y'all think finna happen when these people, who you know can stay at home for 90 days? Cause of COVID. Who can stay, who can afford it? Man, everybody world finna be crushed. That man done changed the game for everybody. Whatever your hope and your future is, you can wind up with something and have it for 90 days. And don't forget now, you can also reinfect right after you get through having it. How about you have it for 90 days and you catch it on the 91st day again? That's 180 days. Who you think gonna keep you on that job? Even, they ain't gonna want you on this. They ain't gonna do uh, telework with you. You ain't gonna be done. You ain't gonna be able to do Zoom. You ain't gonna be able to do for, you ain't gonna be, and if they get a virus in that computer, who you think they gonna put this on? Hypothetical. I knew I know Dick had COVID. Now the computer done got virus. He working from home. This is how dumb white folks here. I'm just using hypothetical. I gotta let you go. And that right, we got words you put COVID inside the computer. Oh, they gonna blame us. Who y'all think this is gonna hurt us? They are going to give these white people funding. They're going to get them back in for when they get it. They're already prepared for white people. It's the nigga who's going to get the back end of it. Y'all will see. Once y'all get it, oh, please, you told me. Let's get back, nigga. Go do your 90 days. Get back. You finna be boot camping. Y'all will see. Listen, that man done played with us long enough. Y'all jump on board. I'm telling y'all now. Y'all tighten up. If I pitch and tell you now, go ahead and take off now. We ain't going to have a whole lot of conversation after that now. After that now, we're going we're gonna to get enemy combatants. I got to, and why, you, why you still here? Enemy combatant. And you hit the ground, what's the rule? We got to stump him. It can be an aim. It can be a hunk. It can be a kid. We got to stump him. That's the rule book. Ain't that, what Ain't that the rule? Whoever hit the ground, we got to kick him. Rudy, you going to hit the ground? Yeah, he going to hit the ground. <laughs> All right, that too.